Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance by Robert Celeste. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Thank you. Please take your seats. Good afternoon. This thing needs to be told. It's an honor and a privilege to welcome students, staff, family members, and guests to Edison Academy's sixth commencement. I'd like to recognize distinguished guests with us here today. The Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter. Thomas Manicello, Vice Chair, Brockton Public School Committee. <laughs> Dr. Kathleen Smith, Superintendent of Brockton Public Schools. Lisa Plant, Ward 2 School Committee member. Dr. Soraya DeBarros, Director of School Registration and Parent Information Center. A message for the graduating class, 2018. You guys are awesome. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Your class is the largest graduating class of Edison Academy so far. Yeah. Yeah. 265 graduates this year. Congratulations. OK, so now what? You will continue learning at technical schools, community colleges, other learning institutions, military service, job corps, and employment. Edison Academy graduates are everywhere. Your future is limited only by your will to succeed and the choices you make. Choose wisely. One of my favorite quotes from Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. Right. My message to all of you, no matter what direction you choose, be the captain of your ship. Class of 2018, I wish you continued success and luck on your journey. I'd like to introduce Dr. Kathleen Smith, Superintendent of Public Schools. Congratulations to the graduates of 2018. It is such a privilege to be here with you today on this one of the most special occasions in your life, receiving your high school diploma. Just to look out there at all the proud parents, family members, uh, teachers, you truly are a part of the Brockton Public School family. But I wanna talk a little bit about your program. This was a program that started a number of years ago, and it was a, a vision by a number of people in the Brockton Public Schools who talked about a different pathway. There were many students that had left education that possibly were working, that had come to the country for the first time learning the English language and wanted that opportunity to receive their high school diploma. I remember sitting there with a number of other educators and we talked about what would the name be. And we came up with Edison Academy because of Thomas Edison. And Thomas Edison had a connection to Brockton. But all of you know from your younger years that he invented what? Okay, light bulb, Thomas Edison. So what I'm going to say to you is he was a visionary. He was a risk taker. He left his mark in this world and even in the Brockton region. And that is exactly what our expectations are for you. This year, all over the country, we heard student voices. They were very proud students that finally talked to us about what they wanted for their world, 
for their education, for their safety. And that is a very powerful thing to have that voice. I wish you well as you go on your way. Again, we are proud of each and every one of you this evening and for your many accomplishments to come. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Smith. The keynote speaker this afternoon is Mayor Bill Carpenter. Um, as always, it's a pleasure to welcome Mayor Carpenter as he continues to be a support for Edison Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter. Well, good evening. It is a, uh, it is a real pleasure and, and it's an honor for me to share this evening uh, with all of the graduates here tonight and their families and friends and supporters are, who are here with us. And, you know, the, the superintendent uh, referenced a little bit, you know, the, the origins of Edison Academy and, you know, I'm sitting with uh, Mr. Minicello and, and with uh, Superintendent Smith and I think back to, I guess, about seven years or so ago when on the school committee uh, where I was serving with Tom at the time, uh, that you know we made the commitment to fund this idea of Edison Academy. Didn't have the name yet. And it's been exciting to just watch the program grow and succeed greater and greater and greater every year. And I think that this really represents a lot of what the city of Brockton and the Brockton Public Schools are all about. It's about achieving the goal, but it doesn't mean there's only one way to get there. And so, you know, the superintendent mentioned multiple pathways. There's, you learn very quickly as mayor that things don't always go exactly to the way you thought they were going to go. And that the important thing is setting the goal and getting there and being willing to pay the price and make the commitment to achieve the goal. And I think tonight there's probably a lot of graduates that made it to tonight through a, a lot of different paths and a lot of different sets of circumstances. But the thing that you all have in common is that you were committed to continuing your education, to creating an opportunity for yourself, and now you know, with the opportunity that's been presented by Edison, to have a plan as to where we go from here. Because this is a great achievement tonight, but really this is, a, this is a stepping off point for you. Now you've shown that you have the commitment, you've shown that you have the ability, and now what will you do with those things that allowed you to get here to continue on from here? And one of the things I love about Edison Academy is the fact that Dr. Cobbs and the faculty and the staff work with students to help them figure out what their path is from here. And you know, maybe it's Massasoit, maybe it's technical training, maybe it's the military, maybe it's a vocational trade, maybe it's nursing school, but all of those doors have now been opened to you because of the fact that you made it here tonight and you achieved the goal. And I am uh, tremendously proud of, of each and every graduate of this program. I, I thank all those here in attendance because I know that, you know, particularly when you're not a, a non-traditional student, there's usually a lot of other things going on in your life besides just school. You know, it's jobs, it's family, it's kids, it's paying the bills, it's all of those things and figuring out how to manage all of that but still make the time and the commitment to get to class and get the work done. And it's uh, those skills and those abilities are gonna serve you very well uh, going forward from here. But I know that you also received a lot of help and support from the other folks here in the auditorium, from your family, from your friends, spouses, children, parents. And uh, so this really is uh, an achievement for, for all of you here tonight. So, on behalf of the city, we congratulate each and every one of you. Uh, enjoy this evening and uh, go forward and be a true champion from the City of Champions. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Menicello, Vice Chair, School Committee. I didn't know I was going to speak tonight, but um, I really want to tell you all how proud we are of every one of you, because you know what? You basically said to yourself, I want more for myself. I want to continue and get my education, and I want more for myself and my family. This is just the start. This can be whatever you want it to be. This is the start of your future. You are hungry. Stay hungry. You've proven to yourself that you can do it. You showed your family, your friends, that you were committed and you achieved and you're sitting here and you're gonna get your diploma. This is just the start of good things to come. Make sure you go on. Get an education. Whatever it is you like. It doesn't have to be one thing or another or what someone wants for you. It's got to be what you like, what you want to do. Because you've got a whole life ahead of you. And let me tell you, everyone out there will tell you this. It's not easy, but it is easier if you have a future if you have a career path, if you have a plan. Plans change. There's not one way to get to where you want to go. It might take a little more time than someone else, but the, but the goal is to get to the end, and you all have the ability to do so. So we are all very, very proud of you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Remember, you can do whatever you want. Just stay focused, stay strong, and stay committed because good things will come through hard work. Congratulations. Still arriving. Ladies and gentlemen, my first student reader, Dave Chabonet. Good evening, family, faculty, friends, and most importantly, class of 2018. My name is Deja Renee. I'm 18 years old, and I am a student at Edison Academy, now a high school graduate. I would love, I would love to give all the credit to myself, but that wouldn't be fair. Truthfully, I would not be speaking here on stage giving this encouraging speech if it was not for my mom, Renee. Thank you so much for just being an amazing mother and never giving up on My dad, Jovan, my siblings, Amaya, Jovan, Jr., Celia, and of course, Deshari. My, sorry. <laughs> my, <clears throat> my grandfather, Wayne Dozier, for always believing in me and giving me words of encouragement. My grandmother, Maria Ricker, for never giving up on me and always loving me unconditionally. My loved ones and amazing friends, I would not be here if it wasn't for your support that was given to me. I feel overwhelmed with potential. At this time, it is my honor to give a special shout out to Dr. Cobbs for being an amazing principal and enforce. for being an amazing principal enforcing the rules to make sure our school was safe. 
It was so relieving to come to school every day and be in a safe, secure environment. I'd also like to give a huge thank you and special shout out to Mrs. Serafaglu, my guidance counselor. who consistently worked with me, especially the times I wanted to give up. You rock. Another amazing woman who deserves to be recognized is Mrs. Alves. Thanks to her, I got accepted to a major college and will be attending in the fall for business. I'm so grateful that these two women have worked with me day in and day out, blood, sweat, and tears, making sure I had the tools and resources to be successful in life. And I'm beyond grateful that I can further my education and to share my final thoughts right here, right now, as a high school graduate is truly a blessing. Thank you, God. I'd like to give a tremendous thanks to Edison Academy for giving me the most amazing education experience yet. Thank you so much, Edison. Thank you so much. Edison Academy has put me in such a higher position in life. Now I can go to college and study even harder and make a difference in the world. Thanks to Edison Academy, I passed all my Massachusetts Comprehensive Assessment System tests. And I can honestly say that my teachers did a phenomenal job as well. Thank you. With that being said, I wish all my fellow classmates the best in life sincerely. My, you're welcome. My advice to everyone, young or old, big or small, black or white, is to never give up. Always believe in yourself, and if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. So please, make a difference in the world and strive for excellence. Thank you. Thank you, Dejan. I'd like to introduce student Reber, Reber Desico. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Riva Diseko. I'm highly honored to be standing in front of you today to share my experience in the Edison Academy and what kept me motivated. Being a student in the Edison Academy has certainly been remarkable. What I have learned not only taught me how to apply myself, apply my knowledge, but also to better myself socially and academically. When I first enrolled in the Edison Academy, I was advised not to make too many friends, but I said that would be too hard because this class, this academy is too friendly. This environment is too friendly. But it, this taught me how to keep my education and academic, academic life and social life balanced. And I felt as if that skill is very important to learn. I soon figured that I should put more focus into myself rather than things that would not help me grow in life. I want to give a special thanks to my family for always being there at the darkest times. In my life, family is the light. I would also like to give a special thanks to um, all the staff members of the Edison Academy for preparing us for this special occasion today. And special thanks to Dr. Cobbs for always pushing us each and every day. 
Now that I have my diploma, finding my path is my vision. Staying in one direction is my only purpose. And successfully reaching my destination is my only goal. I wish success and many opportunities to my fellow graduates. It has been a pleasure knowing you all. God bless you all. A couple, couple more student readers. Um, I'd like to introduce Rose Francois. Sorry, Stephanie Silzo. Hi, my name is Stephanie Raquel Swassel, and I'm here today to give my gratitude to Edison Academy and to all the people who struggled for me. I can't give credit for only one person. I could give credit to the counselors, the teachers, the police officers, and even the principal himself. They all told me to never give up, never give up on your dream. Before I came to Edison Academy, I attended the Bronx Academy of Health Careers in New York. While there, I was inspired by a principal named Miss Santiago, who impacted my life a great deal. She was like a second mother looking out for me. After I moved to Brockton from New York, I enrolled in Edison Academy, where I was able to finish my high school, given a second chance, and, re and required my school courses. And I stand before you today as a graduate. Of course, I did not accomplish this on my own. I have a wonderful family who support me, my theos, my theas, my mother, and who make me comfortable who I am. I especially, especially want to thank my mother for helping me whenever I was down in the dumps and for, and for bringing me around new people when I felt alone. Uh, without her help, I, won't, I wouldn't be here. Finally, I want, to, I want to wish future success to all Edison graduates in the class of 2018. Like myself, never give up on your dream, and you will be able to achieve so much more in life. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua Rice. First, I wanna, want to thank God for being here today. I'd like to thank my family for all their time, love, and support. I stand here today, a changed 30-year-old man, 30 -old man, father and son today. I stand as a 2018 class graduate. I would like to thank the ones who motivated me. Uh, my, five ch my five children, my mom, my dad, my brothers, and my sister, and also my fiance. For, for inspiring me to be a better man as I plan to. I am glad I can spend this moment with you all. I stand here in self-pride and triumph as I should. As I should. We all caused what we, we did and never gave up on ourselves. As my fiance always say, it doesn't matter how you start, it matters how you finish. And now, and now we have the greatest opportunity to pursue our education and build our careers. Congratulations, class of 2018. We did it, bless. Not, not only that, I would like to thank, thank uh, Dr. Cobb and uh, Thomas Edison Academy for my second opportunity and the staff. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Okay, this is the part we've all been waiting for. 
Time to present diplomas. Ahmed Aden. Obaldo Agame. Rafaela Alcide. Mackenzie Alexandre. Madoche Altidor. Hermani R. Aus. Ivando G. Aus. Liliana R. Alves. Arthur Andrade. Jordi Andrade. Mario J. Andrade. Kiara Andrew. Katima Andrew Jr. Diamantino G. Antunes. Jorge Abolon. Gerald Abolon. Teodoro Ash Cirrus. Cremilda Azevedo. Monet Barbosa. Amos Barros. Amos Barros. Erickson Barros Pina. Jason S. Barros. Idel J. Barros de Andrade. Zenon Becerra Pauca. Kervins Bianemi. Elijah Bradshaw. Maria E. Brandão. Kobe Brown. Mario B. Cabrera. Richella B. Cabrera. Jenna A. Caetano. Nadej Sanj. Brian Cancel. Eugênio Cardoso. Pa Paula Cardoso. Tyris Cardoza. Daviel Carasquillo. Marina Carvalho Becerra. Woolwit Casimir. Melina Castro. Robert Celeste. Yuri Celeste.
Handy Colby. Isaiah Coleman. Alex Collins. Jean-Baptiste Dameis. Mylene da Rosa Barbosa. Kellen Dalbon. Sara da Chagas. Ricardo da Veiga. Natalie Davies. Antonia de Andrade. Willow de Andrade. Willie de Andrade. Carlota de Barros. Janine de Andrade Nunes. Nadia de Jean. Isaiah Del Valle Dias. Angelica de Pina. Jessica de Pina. Kelita da Pina. Nenito da Pina. Ketira Destino. <laughs> Riva de Seco. Celi dos Reis. Adelina Duarte. Delícia Dudley. Aldenson Dumel. Jose Echevaria Roman. Dakari Emmanuel Rainey. Yeah. Jenny Etienne. Yeah. Annalise Fernandes. Yeah. Nelson Fernandes. Catarina Fontes. Maria Fontes. Rose Francois. Rubem Galvão. Lawrence Jeffrey, <laughs> Medine George, <laughs> Maxwell Gervais, <laughs> Bruno, 
Vashon Gillings. Joseph Giovanangeli. Angeline Gomes da Silva. Antonito Gomes. Emilene Gomes. Emileno Gomes. Sueli Gomes. Vitalzina Gomes. Domingos Gonçalves. Jeremy Gonzalez. Gabriel Graham. <laughs> Zachary Grant. <laughs> Tarish Carr Jr. Nisha Hector. Selena Hernandez. Sarafina Isaac. Samantha Jean. Moline Jean Baptiste. Jackson Jean Charles. Jaylene Jean-Louis. <laughs> Inette Jean-Pierre. <laughs> Brandon Jegu Polinis. <laughs> Tyra Johnson. <laughs> Roselyne Lafleur. Samuel Lafleur, Hannah Langlois, yeah. <laughs> Olivia Leisha McCraddick, <laughs> Bang Lee, <laughs> Yolanda Lobo. Adilson Lopes. Cynthia Lopes. Neuza Lopes. Raina Lopes. Izzy Lopes. Vania Lopes. Sare Lopez Rivero. Starlene Green. Kimberlyne Louis Charles. Marie Louisville, Angela Marks, Ariela Marrero, Jared McQueen. Je 
Jessica Medina. Kerbit McCullough Jr. <laughs> Diana Mendes. <laughs> Jose Mendes. <laughs> Lenisa Mendes. Keiza Mercado. Michael Mercier. Nadia Marvel. Rose Metellis. Lohana Miranda. Sabrina Miranda. Steven Miranda. O'Shea Noise. Francisco Monteiro. Leonardo Monteiro. Olinda Monteiro. Megane Montes. Carla Moreno. Mullen, Daisha Murphy, Kelvin Murphy, Devon Miles, Joshua Murphy. Jean Junior Narcis. Maria Nunes. Bruno Nunes. Jaqueline Oliveira. Wanda Oliveira. Adrian Pagan. Emanuela Hall. Andrew Peel. Randy Peña. Sandra Pereira. Tui Fan. Adasa Pialui. Mike Pialui. Anderson Pina. Elba Pina. Inês Pires. Raul Pires. Rosângela Pires. Christina Pittman. Nice. 
Leila Pizarro. Marlene Pont. Sai Kadir. Deja Renee. Yanesha Reyes Lugo. Joshua Rice. Brandon Rinaldi. Deshaun Rivera. Jenna Robbins. Jaquan Robinson. <laughs> Osvaldo Rodriguez. Fiziani Rodrigues. Domingos Rosa. Vanilda Rosa. Vivian Rosa. Fausto Rosário Pina. Fausto Rosário Pina. Mike Pierre Lewis. <laughs> no, just go that way. Stephanie Santiago. Erika Santos. Patricia Santos. Damien Savino. Kenneth Sinanen. Jacira Semedo. Gasmer Sena. Nadine Sequeira. <laughs> Linnea Shepard. Cleonice Silva. Ludmila Silva. David Simbayana. <laughs> Carla Souza. <laughs> Isolina Stack. Stephanie Souza. <laughs> Ivandra Lucia Tavares. Nope. 
Cátia Tavares. Marcelo Tavares. Maria Tavares. Nérida Tavares Barbosa. Jonildo Teixeira. Nízia Teixeira. Kemely Teixeira. Rita Teixeira. Steve Teixeira. Junior Telus. Meg Terencia. Josué Humana Flores. Benson Van. Lunel Von Designs the Third. Herminia Vaz. Alex Veiga. José Veiga. Maldini Vieira da Fonseca. Naomi Walker. Justin West. Christopher Woodfall. Rashad Woods Danny. Graduates, class dismissed.